Hello guys. So after the few videos on moment of force, here we will learn something else about moment of force. So in a simplified manner, of course. So let us go through it one by one. So uh, till now we have learned that what is moment of force in our last video video on it, and we have also learned what is called torque. We have learned the what kind of quantity it is. It is a vector quantity. We have learned. The SI unit of torque that is newton meter. It can be also dyne centimeter in case of CGS unit. Please learn that conversion from newton meter to dyne centimeter. That may be very important with respect to your examinations. Now, our next topic that we will learn today is about types of moments. We have already discussed that there are two types of moments. Uh, one is anti-clockwise and another is clockwise. So we will basically dip. Deeper into it and try to understand some more concepts with respect to moment. So, first of all, if you see this one, this is a pivoted bar. It is pivoted over here. What is the another name of pivot that I have already said you in my last class? It was axis of rotation. Okay. So the axis of rotation of this bar is this point. Now, if I put a force, upward force like this in the right hand side, so what kind of moment it will give? You will have to draw like this the, and trace out the motion. These things we have already done in our uh, previous classes. We are repeating and digging deep into the subject right now. So, what kind of motion is this? This is obviously a circular motion. Now, what kind of circular motion? Which type of moment does this signify or does this denote? This denote anti clockwise motion. Clockwise means the way the clock moves, that is this way, but from your side it will be this way. So the clock moves always in this way and anything against that will be anti-clockwise. So this force is creating an anti-clockwise moment. So this force is creating a anti-clockwise moment. Okay, so this force is creating an anti-clockwise moment. Now if I come to the second picture, this force, you can also trace the path like this. So what kind of moment is this force creating over this pivot or axis of rotation? The force that it is creating is clockwise moment. This force is creating clockwise moment. Okay. So these things we have actually discussed, we are digging deep. Now this clockwise moment is always regarded as negative. This is a convention, this is regarded as negative. And the anti-clockwise is always regarded as positive moment. Now in our previous video, we have already discussed how to calculate the torque or the moment of force. Suppose I say you to calculate the moment of force in this moment, then what? Do, how do you calculate this one? Can I calculate the moment of force? I am writing MOF, moment of force. So, what is the formula that we have derived? We have learned that the formula for moment of force was force into perpendicular di distance between the P pi watt and the line of action of force. So force is F and what is the perpendicular distance between the pivot and the line of action of force? What is the perpendicular distance between the pivot? Pivot is this one. What is the line of action of force? What did I say? How to get the line of action of force in my second video? You have to just draw a line like this along the direction of the force. So this is the direction of the force that, that I have drawn. This is the line of action of force. Okay. This is line of action of force. And this is the pivot. So what will be the perpendicular distance? This one. See 90 degree. Perpendicular distance. So this one is the perpendicular distance. So F into perpendicular. Perpendicular distance is already given over here. So it will be F into D. So if anybody says you to calculate what is the Moment of force in this kind of application, it will be force into perpendicular distance from the line of action of force to pivot. Next, 
The thing is that now we have learned another thing that is the sign. Anti clockwise movement was there and the sign was positive. So this will be positive. So there will be obviously some numerical value in this case and that will be positive. Now coming to this one, if this was the case, then what would have been the moment of force? F force, draw the line of action, find out the P1, 90 degree, perpendicular distance, given D. Next, what we have to see? Clockwise or anti-clockwise? It is a clockwise moment. So, sign negative. Okay? So, you have learned another thing. Now, that there is some positive. When it is anti-clockwise, it will be negative. When it is clockwise. So, these are just sign convention. Nothing else. If one is positive, because if you see, this is on one direction, this is on other direction. So, if one is positive, another will be negative. Okay? The convention is taken like that, that the anti-clockwise will take as positive and the clockwise will take as negative. Okay. So, this is the part, the theoretical part I wanted to uh, make you understand. So, this is basically linking you the theory and the problems that are going to come. So, please note down this very carefully. And next, we move on to a small topic again with respect to this only. But first you finish this and then we will come to this topic. Okay. Now, let us understand condition of torque is equal to 0. In what cases the torque or the moment of force will be equal to 0? Can it be possible or not? Okay. See, what is torque? Torque is force into perpendicular distance of line of action of force from pi volt. Okay? So, this torque can be zero if number one force is zero. So, if this becomes zero, the torque is zero. That is one condition. What can be the other thing? The other thing that is possible is perpendicular distance of the line of action of force from the pivot becoming zero. So I have drawn two figures over here. If you see, this is the pivot. And if I have put some force directed at the pivot, okay, then if it was over here, I would have drawn the line of action of force. Then I would have connected this to get the perpendicular distance. So there was some perpendicular distance. Now I come closer. As I come closer to the pivot, the distance is coming down and down. If I put my force directly into the pivot, what is my distance from the line of action of force with respect to the pivot? Zero. So if the force is directed at the axis of rotation, that means if the force over here would have directed like this, then d would have been 0. Think over d would have been 0. So torque would have been 0. I have shown the same thing in vertical condition also. If I would have put a force like this, line of action will be like this, and this would have been a particular distance. So there was some d. I reduce the distance and at some point of time my force hits the pivot. As soon as my force directly hits the pivot, the perpendicular distance becomes zero. Okay, this D comes down. Okay, and ultimately the D becomes zero. And in that case, the torque also becomes zero. You want a practical example for this? Well, I have a very good example. Go to your door again. Try to push open the door from the hinge itself. Put all your bodily energy into that hinge. At that perfect point of hinge, you will never be able to open that door. Because the perpendicular distance of your line of action of force and the hinge at that moment of time Hinge is axis of rotation or pivot. 
is zero. Okay, you can put lots and lots of newtons of force there, but still your perpendicular distance will be zero and hence the torque will be zero. So there are two conditions of torque to be zero. One is force is zero and another is perpendicular distance. This one, this one you have to write over here. Is equal to zero. Perpendicular. Okay, you have to write perpendicular. You cannot write the short forms. Okay. So I hope now there are two three things that we have made clear. Anti-clockwise moment is positive. Clockwise moment negative. Cases where the torque can be zero. Okay. Next thing that we will we will try to understand is couple. Okay. So in case of couple, what is a couple? Suppose I have taken the same bar basically pivoted at the middle. So here I have put some force which is F, and here also I have put some force which is also F. So in both the cases the force is F, acting in different direction. Is it so? Okay. It is basically if you see if you trace this path, this is clockwise. If you trace this path, this also clockwise. Now this is coupled. Two equal and opposite parallel forces act not acting along the same line. Okay. If you see this force and draw the line of action, this is this way, and this is this way. This is two equal forces, obviously two equal forces. Parallel forces. Opposite forces. Equal parallel opposite. Equal parallel opposite forces. Not acting. Along same line is called couple. Okay, not acting along same line is called couple. The total distance between these two equal and parallel forces is called couple arm. A very good example to this is car race. If you have been to any long drive with your parents, and unfortunately your car tire punctures, so your fathers behind your car in the bonnet, in the back seat normally, they have one spare tire. Now you went somewhere where there is no garage. No mechanic available, and in that case, you have to replace that tire. Some of you may have seen it, some of you have it. So the thing is that during that time, you have to use this one. Okay, this is called car wrench. So if you see the tire, in the middle part of the tire, there are some screws. Which holds it with the main axle. Okay. So this nuts has to be open. So this is the part that gets fitted with this, and you have to open it. So it's not like a screwdriver that you can open it like this. It is a very strong bolt. Otherwise, it can open out anywhere. So that should not happen. So in those cases, you put this over here, and you have to suppose you put this one, this one you put with the bolt, and this one you have to move like this. You have to open like this. Okay. So equal C, equal force, opposite force, parallel force, acting. Not along the same line. Perfect example of couple is car wrench, where the equal forces are acting.
parallel forces are acting opposite forces are acting but not along the same line so this is basically the curvature example of a couple okay so this was basically couple anti clockwise clockwise moments condition that torque can be zero Negative. Negative means 
एंटी क्लॉक सो दिस टोटल सिस्टम एट दिस मोमेंट इज हैविंग ए नेट एंटी क्लॉक वाइज मोमेंट ऑफ सॉरी नेट क्लॉक वाइज मोमेंट बिकॉज इट इज नेगेटिव क्लॉक वाइज मोमेंट आई एम सॉरी ऑफ ट्वेंटी के जी एफ मीटर ओके नाउ इन द सेम बार ओके आई हैव टू चेंज दिस वन This is my p what? I have a force over here. I have a force over here. This is basically a couple. Okay, so let this distance be x. Let the total distance be d. So this distance is d minus x. Okay, the total distance is d. That means the couple arm is d. Okay, I have said this is the couple arm. That is d. Now. If somebody asks me to find the total moment out of this one, then how do I do? It? First of all, I take this force clockwise, this force clockwise. So, what is the clockwise moment uh, given by this force? F into x minus negative because it is clockwise moment. This one is also clockwise, so it will be negative. F into d minus x. What is the total moment that is given over here? Total is minus f x minus f d minus. So if I calculate this one, minus f x minus f d minus minus positive plus f x. So this will this this and this will cancel out and it will be minus f d. So this negative sign is due to the total moment being clockwise. So if The same one I would have drawn like this and like this, then it would have been anti-clockwise. It would have been positive. So see, for any couple, moment of couple is force. Any one of the force into couple. Okay, moment of couple is. Any one of the force into couple arm. So basically, you have to basically multiply any one of the force and the perpendicular distance between the two parallel forces. 